In today's video, we'll take a look at the difference between plus plus a and a plus plus, a being an integer variable that we're going to declare here. So int a equals, let's say, to 5. And let's say we print the value of a. So I'm going to say a equals percent d backslash n and pass it here. And if I launch this, we'll expect to see a equals to 5, which is, yeah, I've probably expected. Uh, now, what happens if before printf we do a plus plus, right? Uh, what do you expect the, the printed value will be? Well, if I try to launch it, of course, we're going to get a equals to 6. I think everybody expected that. Now, what happens if I do plus plus a instead? Hmm? Let's think for a second. So, if I try to launch it, you will notice that, oh, we get the exact same result. What's up with that? Is there any difference between those two? Well, if we use it as such, there's no difference, but there's a bit of a difference in certain situations. The difference will become apparent once I do this operation, let's say a++ inside the printf. So if I do a++ inside the printf right now and I execute it, you'll notice that I get a equals to 5. Okay, that's kind of not to be expected, right? Because we have incremented the value from 5 to 6. Isn't it supposed to print out 6? Well, if I use plus plus a, you will notice that I get actually a equals to 6. What's going on? That seems kind of counterintuitive, right? Well, let's break down what this a plus plus and plus plus a does. Okay, so first, let's take a look at a plus plus. What a plus plus does is, uh, remember these, everything in C has to be evaluated to some value, right? So this thing, whatever it is, has to be a number of some sort. And that number is the value, the current value of a before incrementing, right? So this first evaluates to the value of a before incrementing, which is five, right? So evaluate to five. Then, after it evaluates and really sends this value to the printf so that it's, it gets printed, then it will uh, increment, in increment a. In this other version, where we had uh, plus plus a, the operation of these two are switched. So instead of first evaluating, it first, first increments it, Right, so it increments the value of a from five to six. We see that okay, well now it's six, and then it evaluates the whole thing, the the a value, and that a value now is of course six, not five anymore. So it's going to evaluate to six in this case. Another way to demonstrate this is with functions, and if you are familiar already with functions, but you don't, you still don't understand this concept, I am going to show you functions that really represent this. Uh, post-increment and pre-increment behavior. So let's first look at this one, which is a++. I'm going to create a function that returns an integer, integer, and I'm going to call it a++, but not using any symbols because I cannot use them for the name of function. And this guy, we're going to simulate whatever this a++ operation does in C. Well, First things first, as we say, it evaluates to 5, right? That means that it returns the value that was previous to the uh, operation of incrementing. So, in our case, we're going to store this value to a temporary uh, to a temporary place, right, in a simple variable. Then we're going to increment. I'm going to use the a equals a plus 1 simple increment. So, I think this is straightforward for everybody here. It's just incrementing the number. And then I'm going to, instead of returning the a variable, I'm going to return temp. And this temp is the value that is uh, was previous to the increment of a. Okay. And we can actually, you can actually use this in here. So I can just say a++. And if I launch this, you will notice that now I get 5 on the screen like we did before. All right. Now let's do plus plus a. So in plus plus a, this one is much simpler because all we have to do is increment it, you know, first, the first step is to increment a, so a equals a plus 1, and then we just simply return whatever is in a, 
I should return the a value and we can call it down here you can say plus plus a. right and if I try to launch this you will notice that indeed I get here 6 and the value of a is actually 6. So I hope these two ways of explaining the pre-increment and post-increment operations have actually cleared up any misconceptions you might have about these simple operations actually. Uh, now the same applies for the dec decrement operation, so a minus minus and minus minus a, it's exactly the same thing except it's uh, decreasing the value instead of increasing it. Uh, yeah, so no, no difference there. I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code can be found down in the comments below. Take care. Bye.